So here I have an IA slot, number one. I program the name as tuner. And there's a new switch type called tap tempo. So you have your normal quick tap, step, momentary, and stomp. And here we now have tap tempo. So I'm going to save that and exit out into my page. And now I have a button, I'll turn that on, called Tuner. And you'll notice because it knows that this IA slot for Tuner is a tap tempo type switch, as I'm clicking it, it'll show me the beats per minute and the milliseconds. And there are two ways to um, uh, display this data. One is actual raw data, and the other is an averaged data. And I'll show both. Uh, the reason for it is that some equipment, as you're tapping, it is using the actual, from the first tap to the second tap, using that value as the new um, tempo to uh, start using. So if I start clicking, you can see I just tapped out 499 milliseconds, or roughly 120 beats per minute. And that was just two taps. And so that's uh, actual data. And in fact, if we look at the XFX, which this happens to be plugged into, you can see that it tapped out to 120 uh, beats per. Now, a device like the XFX actually, I think, is more averaged. And I have this program for average right now. So it's not going to get exact, but it's going to get you pretty darn close. So if I uh, tap out a different number, you can see it's 117 beats. And if we look at the X, it's 117. And but if if I'm doing it uh, in uh, sequence with a, like a click track or something, of course it'd be a lot more accurate than what I just did. So it's, it should be off only just by a little. So the actual tapped out average is 110 beats. Uh, the MIDI received by the axe is 111. So uh, pretty close, close enough for uh, when you're just tapping things out live. And uh, so again, if you just tap it twice, you get actuals. Uh, so here's 85, and what does that say? 85. And uh, again, if you start tapping, as long as you're within range, so the average, because this is a program to do averages, it's uh, 112, and on the X, it's 112. Now, if you're using devices that um, utilize um, actuals and not averaging, then you can go, I'll show this on the editor as well, but go into your global menu and then you're going to scroll to um, tap tempo uh, display. It's towards the end of the uh, global uh, settings here. So we'll see that, whoops, uh, tap tempo display and right now I have a program to show average value, but you can go ahead and set it to show actual value. So if I save that, let me show you the difference with a device like the X. So I just save that. So now as I start tapping, let's put the X back in tempo, and uh, we'll start tapping. So there I kind of was all over the place. Um, and so it shows 118 beats per minute, which were the actual last two taps. But you can see a device like the Axe, which I think is averaging, it is showing uh, 114, which was probably the average. So if I just do two taps, I show 126, and uh, the Axe came in at 127, uh, at 123, and then the MIDI data came in at 123. So you can kind of see how that works, but it's going to be a little different. Um, 123, and this will be higher. Yeah, 126, because I slowed down. Okay, so that is how you set up an IA slot as a type uh, tap tempo. And then depending on the device you use, you'll set this as either actual or um, averaged. And the numbers coming up here are literally uh, down to the uh, uh, quarter of a millisecond of the actual numbers. So this is really what you're tapping regardless of what the equipment uh, shows. but Obviously, it's more important what the equipment shows. So this will get you pretty darn close. So there you go.